it will be tough the Stoke crowd if if they start well I know I had a short time there they can really get behind their team 10 29 on Friday Ken Semmer here's Davis on the left hand side yep nutmeg into the feet of Semmer inside the penalty cuts it back and it was Saar coming in at the near post tried to flick it goalwards but uh, couldn't get it on target lays the ball into the path of Kamara bit of space ahead of Hassan Kamara on the left hand side early ball looking for Saar Ismail Saar puts Watford in front he loves scoring against Stoke City Kamara's curling cross from deep Saar timed his run to perfection and nods it past Bursic in the Stoke goal and Slaven Bilic's Horitz are off and running Stoke City nil Watford won I think Watford have had the the, the 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 better of this opening period they've certainly moved the ball moved the ball better but this is an excellent cross from Kamara and so all he has to do there is get it on target and hope that he's not going to get a right hand off the goalkeeper so it, he has to be brave but he's guided it into the net and I think they're, they're, they're picking Stoke apart the two systems are very different this afternoon and Watford in the opening 10 minutes of the game have, have utilised that that shape and that space in and around the Stoke back three just seen the replays of it technically it's a very good header sometimes it's easy to take your eye off it when you think you're going to take contact from a goalkeeper there Senna and Kamara battling down the left hand side a little bit of skill from Kamara Kamara across goal header again from Saar off the post Saar again saved by Bursic well again it's a fabulous cross this time he's he's pinged it in I think he got a bit fortunate with this with the skill but this is the um, Ismail Asai we need to see captain to the side for that game as well and a flint under pressure from Saar and Saar nicks it off him inside the penalty area it's forced away from goal but he finds Keenan Davis Davis won it on his left foot Semmer is screaming for it Aspria takes over and now here is Ken Semmer Semmer shot Dif uh, fingertips onto the post if you could hear it the fingertips touched onto the post but that's three, four chances we've had now. Still only one goal. Here's Delap. Pursued by Cabasele. Still going. Liam Delap into the Watford penalty area. Looks to chip it towards the far post, but it's onto the roof of the net. He's on this free kick and he goes for goal again. And Batman has to claw it away from the top corner. Batman equal to it. Well, he was over to it. He was comfortable in the end. Nevertheless, he's kept it out of the net. Valuable time for the Hornets who have the lead. The time is theirs to waste. Gaspar with a cross this time, which uh, Flint heads away at the near post. Chowdhury knocks it back into the box. Might come for Davis. Goalkeeper makes a save, but Simmers there. Great block from Wilmot, but Simmer on the rebound. Ken Simmer celebrates his birthday week with a birthday goal. Again, it's a shambles at the back from Stoke. Ken Semmer's actually offside when the ball first goes in. But Keenan Davis goes for that ball. And then the second phase, Ken Semmer's in the position. His first attempt's blocked and he's, he's tried to get to his feet as quickly as he could. And he's just felt him. He can roll it in the corner of the net. But again, it's just one of those. Every time you put the ball in the box, with the exception of Ben, ben Wilmot for Stoke, the other defenders have been a shambles but it will be a corner you have to say it would have been very very fortunate corners towards uh, Flint at the far post might come to uh, Fosu what for block it small bone edge of the box shoots over the bar to Flint's run because you know Flint's trying to get the header oh, what a fabulous pass from Imran loser loser finds Semmer on the left hand side he can play into the path of Davis inside the penalty area straight to the goalkeeper who parries it behind for a corner so Josh Laurent rather ran into a combination of Semmer and Saar and Loser and Saar comes away with it attacks the two centre halves and feeds Davis on the left hand edge of the penalty here it's uh, Keenan Davis shoots Keenan Davis seals the three points for the Hornets you were just saying Tommy all his hard work this afternoon deserved the goal and now he has it Saar with the assist this time took his time Played into the path of Davis, two or three touches, and then he drilled the low shot beyond Bursic into the bottom left-hand corner of the Stoke net. Well, I think it is what he deserves. So much of that that role that he plays is it is unseen. But it's fabulous play from Ken Semmer originally, and then Ismail Asar shows just 
weight of pass, confidence, and then it's just pure power from Keenan. There's no trick. He doesn't try and do things that he can't do. He does what he says on the tin. And it's pure power. Touch to the left. Good strike with his left foot. Shortly, another mistake at the back from Flint this time. And here's Ken Semmer moving into the penalty area. Forced a little wide. Chips it towards the far post. Comes to loser! It's wide. Imran loser from basically the penalty spot. Lovely weighted pass. And he has that confidence in his ability to just hold off and side foot it. He's was falling asleep from the corner. Here's loser. Loser to the far post. It's four now. And it's Pio. Just on as a substitute. Watford took the corner short. They had the overload. Losers crossed to the far post. Stokes stood and watched. And Vacuum Bio pokes it into the empty net. And it's a wonderful ball in. I mean, not many players would lace this across the box. But he's confident that he can deliver it with pace and accuracy. Normally, when you try and lace a ball like that, it goes sky high. But you have to credit Baco as well. He's, he's got inside the back post. Any contact there, in fact, he's just outside it, which makes it even more difficult. He's had to steer it in. A very good landscape this afternoon. Ben Wilmot heads it behind. There's the full-time whistle when it's been a sensational Sunday start for Slaven Bilic in Stoke. He wins his first game in charge by four goals to nil. The Hornets' first away win of the campaign. A first away win since March, Tommy. Um, the positives are uh, certainly plentiful this afternoon.